Assalamualaikum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's video is the study of IR spectra. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can study the IR spectra, how you can interpret the IR spectra, how you can understand the IR spectra. So first of all, what you need to do, you have to just memorize these values. Okay, the OH bond gives the wave number between 3200 and 3650. Similarly, the other functional groups gives the wave numbers according to um, their vibrations okay so now moving on so this is the first spectra that is of decay so how you can understand that this spectra is of decay first of all you know that sp3 ch stretch the ch stretch of sp3 occurs at about 3000 so whenever there is a peak at 3000 it means that there is an sp3 ch present in our given molecule okay and and this sp3 ch is it a ch2 or is it a ch3 how, how you can find it you can find it by looking this here okay as you can see here that we have got a ch2 bend and then we've got a ch3 bend okay so this means that in our molecule we've got a ch3 and we also have got a ch2 so this is an indication of a presence of a stretching compound so i can say that this compound here is decane and decane has a formula of ch3 ch2 8 and ch3 okay so this is the indication of uh, the decay and this peak here shows that it is a long chain compound so moving on towards the next example the next example as you can see here what we've got is a uh, sp3 ch peak okay so as i've just told you earlier that at 3000 if a peak occurs at 3000 it means that this peak is of sp3 ch stretch okay and secondly uh, what i have to do i have to find that if there are ch2 group or the ch3 group so this peak here indicates that there is a ch2 bend and there is no ch3 bend okay uh, as compared to the last example let me just compare it with the last example as you can see in the last example we have two peaks in the last example we had two peaks one was that of ch2 and the other one was that of ch3 but in case of uh, this example this new example in case of this new example we only have got one peak of ch2 and again we do not have any long chain representation here okay so this means that our uh, given molecule contains only ch2 and uh, all the ch bonds are sp3 hybridized so that means that our compound can be a cyclohexane okay so this gives an indication of the presence of cyclohexanes okay so now moving on towards the next example so next example this next example is that of an alkene okay so here it is our double bond okay this is a double bond actually this is there is a misprint and there is a double bond and the next thing is that this is actually cis 2 pentene okay this is actually cis 2 pentene and uh, the as uh, we have got a peak at 3000 which indicates the presence of sp3 ch stretch and again we have got a higher peak of sp2 ch stretch okay so we've got two types of peak the sp3 ch and sp2 ch so this means that there must be present there must be present a double bond okay so where is the double bond present the double bond is actually present between this carbon and this carbon okay the uh, double bond is present between these two carbons okay and this peak here indicates that this stretch is the c double bond c stretch is a cis stretch okay that our given compound is a cis isomer okay so now moving on towards the next example the difference between the previous and the next example is just the cis and transform okay so as you can see here that this is our trans 2 pentene this is our trans 2 pentene and the difference is only the presence of this disturbance here okay this disturbance indicates the presence of a trans group okay that uh, this disturbance indicates that uh, our given pentene our given 2 pentene is trans 2 pentene okay and this disturbance was not present in previous examples so as you can see here there was no disturbance here in the previous example in case of cis there was no disturbance here okay so now moving on towards the next okay so now in case if we have got a c triple bond c okay if we have got a c triple bond c so what we've got here that a c triple bond c stretch occurs at round about 2200 so we have got c triple bond c stretch at about uh, round about 2200 and here as you can see that we have got an sp3 ch stretch and we've got sp stretch okay sp stretch occurs at around about 3500 and sp3 ch stretch occurs at 3000 okay um so now what we have here is that we've got a c triple bond c okay we have got an sp3 ch and we've got an sp ch so another thing is that we also have got a long chain okay so now um this chain here this 
peak here indicates a triple bond CH band. Okay, so now we have got the molecule that is of one octane. Okay, so these are some of the indications of the graph that tells us that our given molecule is that of one octane. So now moving on towards the next example of toluene. So now again what we have, we have got an sp2, sp3 CH stretch at about 3000 and again we have got an sp2 CH stretch at about around about uh, 3100 or 3200 okay and again this thing here, this peak, this peak here indicates the C double bond C stretch of aromatic C double bond C stretch okay this peak indicates aromatic C double bond C stretch and if we have got these peak here, these peak show the mono substitution okay so our result is a uh, toluene so this here is a mono substituted benzene and that is of toluene okay so now moving on again we have got a meta substituent okay we have got a meta substitution so here as you can see we have got a meta substitution or so this is the peak for the meta substitution and again these peaks are that of aromatic c double bond cca stress that so this graph is just similar to that of the before but what we have here is that we have got an aromatic c double bond c stretch we have got a meta substituent peak and we have got a sp3 ca stretch as before and we've got an sp2 ca stretch as just like the before okay and the last thing is that these meta substitution, the meta substitute peak, okay. Um, just compare it with this. We have got this peak. This peak is that of the mono substituted uh, product, and this peak is that of a meta substituted, okay. So, guys, that was our last example. Inshallah, see you in the next video. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. If you've got any question, you can ask in the comments. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.